Commander Black Star Lord at your service. Or in this game, Commander Black Star Lord Triple Lead. Oh. In this game, King Amno Commander Black Star Lord Triple Lead at your service. And welcome back to another wonderful game of where the hell are we now? Now, there's first of all, we want to check where we are, and also to find out if the war is still is still on. Now, if the war is still on, we're going to have to migrate before the new update to Jonai, sell the data somewhere. But I think I might I should wait until after the new data to be sold. Um, no one else is online. I haven't been online for a couple of days because we have Easter. Which has been fun. So let's start, shall we, and have a quick look. The new updates are coming in a couple of days. And with that, that means there's new stuff that is coming. So I will find out if anybody's actually online playing. If they are, I'll have a chat to it. If not, we're going to have a look where we are in the star system, but we're also in a wall with the like, canary or something. We're in a wall in the system somewhere, which we need. We just got to keep, really keep. So we can expand our influence across the universe. Now I have turned the camera off because I do have family here. Okay, so we'll be jumping in about four days. And let's have a look where we are. Put a spot there. That's where we had. Yeah, we've been here before. Haven't we? It's unexplored. Might have a look at the system. That might be immortable, but I don't think it is. That it could be. Um, have a look. We'll check it in a minute. Um, I feel we're going to have a look over where. I'm half asleep at the moment too because it's so, been so warm. I've had 11 days without rain. So where are we jumping to? Is that where we jump? Yes. This is a weird looking picture we're making. Going down further. Interesting. Why are we going downwards? We're not even in the same plane. Oh well, let's go and we'll look at this system. Where can we jump to? There's nothing really around here, is there? Get back on that system. Uh, okay. So let's go, go down further and further. Interesting. Now, how far down we can just go? Eventually, it'll run out of bloody planets or systems. I think that might be it. Oh, what were we here? 500 light years. That would probably be the next jump, that one there. No, probably this one here, let's so. say. Yeah. So think about it, look where we are and all that. That would be the likelihood of that, because we're going down, not slightly down to the right, I'd say. That'd be more or less over here. Hmm, why are we doing that for? Anyway. Let's go have a look at the system, shall we? Anything interesting on the pellet?
Let's see if we are still on wall. And if we are, then we don't have to go to the um, walls of giant. Well, that makes it so we only scanned the water world, was not it? The Federal Times also confirmed that a donation of 36.5 million credits has been received from Wacom Capital Investments in recognition of the organization's dedication to ethical journalism. Hi, that's the water world. Yeah, we've been... Why is it on the one way? was broadcast on all Imperial media channels. After much discussion, Princess Ashley and I have formally agreed to a non-aggression pact. And there might be high metal content world. We decide to consider the other an ally. We have pledged not to oppose each other or interfere with the activities of our respective supporters. I am grateful to my cousin for her courage in establishing contact. Although I stand firm on my previously stated beliefs, at Ashling's request I will review Noble Imperium's policies with an open mind. For now, I must remain a member of the Imperial family in exile. Yeah, that's been scammed before. Purchased by Core Dynamics. Voda is a familiar name to many. The independent company having cornered the market in personal land vehicles in recent years. But according to the Federal Times, a downturn in profits has led to the company being purchased by Core Dynamics, a giant in the field of stuff. There I see profits. Core Dynamics CEO Jupiter Rockshift mm, gave the following that. statement to the Federal Times. There's no question that the Vodal team possesses considerable expertise, and I'm delighted that Core Dynamics was able to help them in their hour of need. Vodal's core team of designers and engineers will remain in place under our roof. Okay, so change it all them out the way. The scarab they know and love will remain unchanged. In the piece for Vox Galactica, business analyst Marvin Morris observed, Core Dynamics was smart to keep the Vodal team intact, since they clearly know their stuff. It's an excellent deal for both companies. Thargoids wreak havoc in core system. It has now been more than two months since the Thargoids began a concentrated assault on the core system, and in that time they have attacked dozens of starboards, resulting in thousands of casualties, as authorities in the affected systems continue to appeal for That's aid. That's rich planet. Aegis's chief military liaison has offered the following assessment. What's surprising is that the Thargoids are targeting our most important social and military centers, such as the superpowers home system. Yeah. There's no doubt that they're trying to which planet. but evidently they're guided by different principles than those that typically govern human martial strategy. 
Another water bottle. What oh, is two water bottles? Good days are going. Is the war still on? And with Joe and I, or is that finished? They told us two water bottles. I knew there was. Oh, go over here. Yep. Ah, good. So I'm going to have to migrate to sell this data somewhere. Because uh, i got my family here at the moment, so... It's going to... It's, um... Yeah. So I'm going to have to then give up this round. I'm Joe and I. And I've got family coming, I've got family here, so I thought what Easter weekend they're going home tomorrow, so I might as well make my way back to the walls of Jonai. If I can, find it. Jonai there. I'm going to find where I can sell trade data. Actually, I'm not going to get back to Shinrata first. Pick up my um, I don't have any ships there. I'm going to go back to here first. Shinrata, because that's where I've got my federal call back. Not cost. Um, straight into. So I will start jumping our way back to there. Okay. I like where we are in this world, we're going down further. I've been into here, so I don't know why they're still going down, they might go down a bit more, but yeah. We can always come back to it for four days so we can go help them out. The wall's still on, and we've got 39 jumps, so we might as well get stuck into that now. Jump, scan, jump, scan, jump, scan, jump, scan, jump, scan. Then I've got to find a place where I can sell it. Actually, I'll get my other ship. That's why I haven't got the um, camera on at the moment, because I've got family. Come down for the Easter, which is good to see them. 39 jumps, and then we'll get our federal call back, so we can take it to war. And I've got to ask where I can sell the data. Um, flog all that off so we can use that to influence the walls of Jonai. Somewhere. I'll have a jump in tonight and ask people tonight if I can. If they're on. Let's have a quick look at what's available here. Nothing really, a couple of gas giants. No, not interested. Yeah, 
this week's main stories. The children of Chosun have been thwarted in their attempt to destroy our humble terminal. Kelsey the Barnabas Cole was killed by Special Agent Rochelle Carey while preparing to detonate the nuclear Lucifer device as President Ship Drive, Georgie. Your intelligence agents arrested the remaining cultists. Carrie and her team had infiltrated the staff. We've got the update in two days, too, so that's going to be a problem. Federal Times has been asked to. Do I bother waiting for the that tick to come over, the two day tick, or do I bother selling the data and start going to war? That is the question. Investigation into Rackham Capital Investments. A number of employees, including owners of Rackham and Rackham and Carrie. Okay, so I get misused to this ship, but I mean, it's out better than otherwise. You big eyes will be. Do that without any other fuel. I kind of miss that place. What am I going to do with all these TV remote controls of them? Eh, I'm selling to somebody. Put them to deep space to tell you what you're talking about. Although he has been labelled an enemy of the Empire, I found myself unable to ignore this new member of the Since it's only the second day, I'll try to get hold of Super Death. Either tonight, find out where I can sell all this stuff, and... Then, get... Well, first of all, grab Court Federal Corvette, then it's going to take me probably about 20 odd jumps to jump from Super Grab to the Edward Federal Corvette. Um, but I don't mind that. Four bodies. Not worth it. Starport saved from destruction. The children of Tovar's cult have been prevented from detonating a nuclear weapon intended to destroy Archibald Terminal. Crime correspondent for the Federal Times, Ethan Takahashi, delivered this special report. Terror struck the Starport. I can't wait for the new updates because the. Drive, what do you call it? The uh, new computer, the advanced docking computer. It's bad enough that uh, the normal docking computer is trying to kill you, the advanced docking computer will definitely kill you. It'll take you off and take, try to get you out of the mail slot with a type 10, type, yeah, type 10 coming from the slot. Two anacondas, to the beluga and a type 10 coming from the slot at the same time. <laughs> That would be interesting. Here you go. Ah, oh, my side one is not going to fit. Oh, bro. 24 bodies. Gas giants. Not interested. Must have been before. <laughs> Yeah. I reckon this has been definitely, yeah. No point in looking at it. Quick scan, keep going. So it's only the second day of war. That's cool. Command the Black Force. I like the name. Everybody's used to win. Oh, hello. Okay, we do have a water bottle. 
We do have a water world somewhere, so let's get away from the sun. We'll have a look at it. So back to world, world hunting. The occupant of a cryogenic pod recovered from an abandoned outpost used by the Far God sect has been ah. successfully. 17 year old Kiyo Narukona has been confirmed as the occupant. Following medical checks and an extended debriefing by the Federal Intelligence Agency, she made the statement to Vox Galactica. I've been homeless for a long time when the monks took me in. I never understood much about the Far God really. I just needed to get off the streets. A lot of people there were like me. Somehow I ended up at the outpost, where they put us all into suspended animation. I've no idea what happened after that. I'm just grateful to be alive. I hope the others are too. I hope they got whatever they were praying for. The FIA has contacted Kiana's father, John O'Connor, has arranged for her to be escorted to her family home. Second fatality in Ragham conflict. The head of personnel at Rackham Capital Investments has died in an accident, becoming the second senior level employee to have died in recent weeks. Journalist Brianna Blanco commented in the Federal Times. Senior executive Derenoshia was killed when his personal limousine malfunctioned and crashed. The incident has not been ruled as suspicious. Oshia's position was filled within hours by a supporter of Taj Oh, that's nice. That's really nice. Oh, that's cool. I love the look of that. That's awesome. High metal one. Metal rich and high metal ones. In quite nice. Oh, that's pretty. Wow, can you land on that one? I don't know. Look at that one. See if we can. Oh, that's pretty too. Now, we should. It's quite a more fun That's those two. There are three gas giants to go and find in this water world to find. Okay, we're here somewhere. There's our water well. How pretty that looks. That does look feel like more hand drawn that one, doesn't it? Hand painted. Too far. It's a gas joint. You can't really hit too far, can you? That's nice. Quite a lot in this system.
Something else you know this for. Uh -huh. Now this should be easy to Wow, this is a bit laggy. Oh, oh, I think it's something here, but... Wow, that's a lot of stuff in that system. Let's have a quick look at the um, system map, have a look over here. Well, that is landable. That's all been scanned, but I've oh, been scanned, but wow. There's our world of world. Uh, that, that one, oh, you can land on that. You can land on that. Oh wow, that's pretty, look at that. Oh wow. I want to land on that one and that one there. Oh, look at that, look at the color. This I'm going to have to bookmark. I'm going to bookmark some landing on later. When I eventually go back out there, I want to land on some pretty... Oh, looking, I'm looking for places like this where... The rings have got some nice, have nice colours on, um, potentially that one there. And the colour of the, of the planet itself, it just looks really awesome. That's a bit iffy, but these lighter colour ones might get a really nice drive on them and also look when you're going through that. And that's just for later anyway. So we're about to in the universe, is curious. Still got a lot of more jumps to go yet. I'm going sort of for a nebulite, I think maybe. Oh. So we'll continue on our journey, shall we? We're going to get to there, then get to Joe and I, find a system where we can sell the data, sell the data, go to war, kick some ass. Now the reason I want to sell the data is because I don't want to accidentally get myself killed or potentially killed and lose all that data and it's just a waste of where the hell are we now. And it's also a waste of me exploring. Don't need the caps or anything like that. That's not the point. Gonna bother. Um, it's not the point. I, I don't need the money because I've got the, that, and I can also just go do um, what is it called? I put one of the mining one, the verbal mining, which I'll probably do after the outbreak. 
after we take care of the war and start doing some other stuff like that, I'll record um, some of the war for, uh, perhaps for the uh, video, or next week's video. Yeah. I've got to find out where, where I can sell my data. Uh, I think that's on one of the factions here. No, I'll have a look later. Twenty three bodies. I always like to get into 30, into 30 before I jump. Not when it's so hot. 32 jumps. Engage. It took a while for YouTube to upload a video online, which is in a market video here. Um, and That was cool coming to sunlight from like that. Dodge hopping. Not worth it. It's behind. See, that's got a nice lot of fun. These are all landable. And this has been all scanned and done, but that's some of the most of the nice, but uh, Diamond doesn't. Throughout the empire, with Selena Tor. 
That'd be nice. No, that's potential water world, but they're not in the water worlds. You know why? Because it's not in the scan. So when you go through here, sorry, slow down. They're not in that fray where the water worlds are. Which is kind of annoying. Well, basically, we're going to get a what's the name? Uh, first of all, Federal Corvette. And if we've got time to today, we'll fly back to it. If not, we'll jump on tonight and we'll fly back to Jono and then I'll we'll fly to its destination where we can sell all the data. We've got to get rid of the data before we go to war so we don't get accidentally blown up. Wow, wow, there's a good bot. Absolutely not. Say it again. Some bit is crazy. The children of Tokyo's yeah. cult have been forcibly disbanded following its recent attempt to destroy our convoy terminal with a new nuclear weapon. The aftermath of the crime was so described by Ethan Takahashi in the Federal Times. There has been widespread gratitude to the Federal Intelligence. So, I'm going to have to end the uh, Where the Hell Are we videos. We might come back to it eventually, but yeah. See how we go. But we've got to get to Jonai. Done that, heard it all, been repeated. Frame should try, told you. <sighs> supposed to get rain tomorrow. Don't think we will, but we're supposed to get rain.
Hello. We're pretty much done what we want to do. Uh, we're going to go back to Shimrata, pick up our Federal Corvette, then take that to Jonai, and then work out where we can sell the data. Uh, I'd like to stay with the ship, but we're at war at the moment, and this is the first time I've managed to get on the computer. So we're pretty much jumping back to Shimrata to pick up our beautiful Federal Corvette. Go on scanning everything along the way. As you do. Three bodies, I'm going three suns, so I got like that. Yeah. Didn't even bother sort of slowing down there. And we continue on jumping. That's pretty much it. And we've got family that greased us, so I've been a bit busy. Enjoying the company. Oh. That looks like um, it's a like wall, but it's not. It's going to be middle rich one, same with that one there. So the heavy middle, middle rich one. Oh, excuse me, I'm yawning. Ah, I've got to cook tea soon. Uh, it's four o'clock, so I've got an hour. But then it costs about uh, six o'clock. That's so busy. Thank you for the follow by the way, Black Horse. Appreciate that. Just... Thank you. Well, Commander Black Horse. I like the name. Twenty-one jumps. That looks cool. I honestly can't wait for the new updates. to uh, mining. I'll have to have a look at what, what needs to be done to do a federal Corvette miner. 
and a conwinder. Ah, I don't know. Can we go back to the... What's the name, Miner? So that's one of the big gas giant. Still quite a lot of planets in the system though. This would be nice. I like that one. This would be nice though. Uh, nothing of interest. Take our angry bird again. Friendship drive charging. Just send me an angry owl. Two planets. Wow, that's a lot. And not one where I wanted to be. How rude is that? That's a potential. That's potential, that's potential. But, okay, let's check this one out. Just curiosity. I think it's a middle rich one. This is not in the water world or high melt content probably. Yeah, it's a high melt content. Even though it looks like it got a blue ring around it. It's a high melt content world, so That'd be no good to what I want. Can't complain. We've got the 16 jump to get to there.
So we're on our way back to civilization. I really wish they could fix those wires up. Oh. It's a hat to engineers. Yep. Come on. We'll grab our friend, we'll call that, and we'll hit the road. See, it just looks. I don't know. So. Ah. Cheap. Cheap. That's what I call it. Cheap. Water well. And every mama there's a water well somewhere here. What's the symbol? Ah, for all those. Done. Got the water well. Would be there we go. Let's read that one there. I, know, I, just, I just scanned it. That's a water bit. That would be metal bridge one or high metal bridge one. We might, but it would like to be another water world, but I don't think it is. Could be. But I don't think it is. Let's have a quick sniff. These are all heavy metal and truck. Okay, we're going towards a water well. It's heavy metal. High metal. High metal, what's a heavy metal for? It's metal rich. High metal. I see bodies. metal high metal some look pretty That's nice. It's hundred percent done. Get that mate. We're on our way back to we're on our way back to Shinrata and then we're going to go get to get our to get our what's the name? I don't know what that's about. That's the water world and that one is high metal. Um we're going to get our friend or Corvette, and then we're going to get towards the Jonah. Four, three, two, one. I know, some look really pretty, don't they? I found a couple of nice, um... I'm disappointed you can't land on those planets, or get, like... Um,
um, like someone we can't land on, though, which is really annoying. I want to get the land on there for like worlds or like the what's the name around it. But that would look awesome. Oh, I'm going wrong one. I want to take this one. Nah, nothing there. <laughs> now we continue on. So, some are really pretty. Like, I really want to get down to exploring using the new mechanics one day again and do all that. Um, but, since we're at war, we've got to come back, do war. Uh, I'm going to get my Federal Corvette, go to the Walter John and I, sell the data. Uh, I'll probably just get my Federal Corvette tonight and may, if I've got time to, make it to the Walls of Joe and I. If not, next time I come on, we'll go to the Walls of Joe and I and sell all the data we need to sell just to, to clear that out of the banks. Um, so that way there, we're going to go to war, we might accidentally get ourselves killed, then we don't want to lose, especially the new docking computer coming out in a couple of days. We don't want to go, oh, guess what? <laughs> You've just accidentally boosted out of the mailbox straight into straight into three anacondas, uh, type ten, and two type nines. All all holding um, all holding explosives. Didn't want to complete the fuel scoping. I know I had more than a fuel. Yeah, that one might. That one might be good, but it's going to be an icy one only. Which is going to be annoying. I wouldn't mind that. That was a nice volcanic one, would be good. But I'd scan it and then keep it for the records. Because they're the ones you want to land on. So I've got some really nice colour ones, which are fantastic. And I'm going to find where. I'm definitely going to find where that hand drawn system is. But I also want to do a bit of opal mining. I think it's opal mining or. Or some sort of mining, and um, I'm gonna get back to that because my cow balance is only 200 million. Continue on our way. Robert. Uh huh. Robert. Yeah. Where's the paddle? Paddle in the garage. Is that all I need? The seat paddle, and that's all you need. Uh, be careful, it might. Uh, no, okay. Uh, remember, if you're travelling over 100 kilometres, you can. I like that. <laughs> oh, hello, hello. What have we got here? We've got Rocky World there, but we also got a water world. Okay, so we've got some water water in the system, so let's first of all get away from the system. Away from the star so we don't cook ourselves alive. While we're doing that, let's have a quick look here. Let's see where that would probably be. That was my brother, he's after a paddle. Oh, I think it's going to be this one here. <laughs> he's after the paddle for the kayak. So what's it look like that? It's our water world. Depends on what you're trying to do. Um, 
See, when it comes to combat, you don't really need to worry about it. When it comes to mining, you don't really need to worry about it. The only time you have to worry about keeping the weight low is when you go exploring. Um, that's it. Like, currently I've got a NIST ship. Um, wow, since I've done this. Um, right, so I've got weapons on this ship anyway, but it's besides the point you don't have to when you go exploring. Um, where's my jump range? There's my credits. It's been innocent for a while since I've actually gone for it. I've got limpets in that on here because I want to use those. And there's 54. I currently do 50 light years to 54 light years. I can get up to almost 60. But I went and had got light allies. I pretty much want to light everything up. Um, you want to, to get the Guardian boosters if you can get get them. Um, that way they get you an extra 10% onto your jump range. I've got that on pretty much all my ships. Um, that way there I can just you get you an extra 10% which is bonus. It's a bonus for my book. Um, all depends on what you're setting up. I haven't got a, I've got a, uh, a miner that doesn't even have a field scoop. I've got it in a location there, Shimata, that's got a good location where I can mine. And near their place, it's only one or two jumps away from Shimata, which is fantastic. Um, and I can get a really good ice mining out of that, or some other mining out of that. Which I do like, um, and then I just can take it back to there. So it all comes down to what you're trying to do, what you want to do, uh, how you want to do it, and so forth. And remember, you've got to go to the engineers too, and engineer the crap out. Um, scanners, you can either have long range, short range, uh, or you have weight reduced. You can reduce pretty much the weight on everything if you can, and also you want to boost. If you're going to do that, you want to boost your lower power plants up. So that way there you can put like a um, two or three power plant, but then once you engineer it, uh, um, and then becomes a much, put a uh, D, I believe it is. D-rate everything, because that's the lightest, I believe. Um, but you can then engineer it, so you can get more power out of it. I don't know if I would. Hello? It's in the F like world here. Alright. Right, let's get out of here first. We don't want to burn ourselves. But we have an F like world. Um, so it comes under other things which you want to do. It's close to them. Okay. Now yeah, we're looking for an Earth like world. That one had to be that. Oh, that's a single source, which is over here. Transplant symbols. Not really interested in that. Uh, let's, let's go back to. Quickly scan this whole system if we can. There's nothing else by that earth like one. What earth like all in here? Uh, to the earth like one, no. Got any hope? I'm 
love of these crappy planets, I tell you. Scan the rest of this thing. Since we got ripped off, we probably, I thought we had a nerf my world here. I was like, oh, well, I can't be right. Ah, oh, well. Ah, I should have checked. Shouldn't I? Yeah, scanned all. Ah, oh, well, I thought that one nerf like world there. That uh, my own fault. So I was too close to the eight jumps. I'm going to not waste time. Yeah, so as I said before, if you want exploring, you want to lightweight everything. You want to declass everything. Um, you want to put, probably put the lightest shield you can possibly put on it, smallest and lightest. You want to engineer the jump range, you want to engineer um, your thrusters. But you also want to have be able to land on planets too if you've got a, um, a buggy. Um, and that takes it takes a balance of exploration and pushing your ship how far you can make a jump to what you want to do if you just want to go scan the things and never never land on a planet then don't worry about it, you know what i mean just you can just light d-rate everything put your boosters on and stuff like that oh go for it i'm not the best at builds but you can go for it i'll have a look at it There'll be other people who go on the walls of Jonai and they'll be able to help you as well. Chaos Wolf has done more exploration than probably anybody. Um, but there's a lot of other commanders that have done on exploration levels. We've gone to Distance Worlds 2 and that. Um, if you jump on the walls of Jonai um, Facebook page, join the, join us and then of course jump on the, the Discord at night time or whenever people are on it, then the more they more than welcome to help you. Um, and there's also, yeah, several programs that can help you. Can you chuck the link in? I'll have a quick look at it. Nothing. So I'm going to be careful. <laughs> Don't want to go scan the whole system and find it's all bloody rocky world. Ugh. I thought there's an earth like world there. I want to get these jumps over and done before we get to Joan as fast as possible. Because I know the 23rd, we're all going to be the new tick. Oh, they're not new tick, the uh, new stuff coming down. Which is in technically two days by us, but three days really, to be the 24th. I've been to that the worst convenient time for us. Is that when we're sleeping or I think it's actually when we're sleeping at uh, an update. Civilization. Friendship drive charging. 
17 pounds, not fast. Ah, because we've got cooked tea bag at 4.35 o'clock. Um, Four thirty five o'clock and go cook tea. And the sun goes down about six o'clock. Actually depends what time my brother wants to cook the barbecue. Cover up that. Yeah, not much there. Like, ah, uh ha. -huh. So. This ship for exploration build. Combat. Science so you can still get two more utility mounts you want to put onto there as well. Um, this is Yeah, that's been scanned. So I'm not gonna worry about that. Um, combat. You put, you've got an empty slot there, which the two you can put something onto that. So combat doesn't need to worry about losing weight or even having a fuel scoop on, depends on where you're doing combat. If you're only doing combat in the same system or one or two jumps away from a station, then you can actually take, take that off and put something else there that's going to benefit you as in combat wise. Uh, another whole reinforcement package or something like that. Um, or military or whole reinforcement package depends on the ship you're using. Um, so you've got an empty two slot there, which is kind of useless. You could put, um, <clears throat> you could even <clears throat> get rid of. You could probably, unless you're going for, um, if you're say going for a. Like if you want to collect the goodies when you kill a ship, you can like the material wise you can keep that from the big controls and stuff like that if you wanted to. But if you're not gonna do any of that, I would only keep the fuel scoop on till you get to the destination where you want to go to killing things. Now, if the killing things had a space station in that area, get rid of the fuel scoop. Put a whole reinforcement package on there, put another whole reinforcement package onto the other one. Um, and so you only put a docking computer if you really wanted to, <laughs> or a bad docking computer. So that way there you've got more protection for your hole on that. Shield generator is fine, same as shield cell bank. You need a heat sink launcher though. If you're gonna pop a shield cell bank, yeah, shield cell shield cell boot, um, shield cell bank, you're gonna need a heat sink launcher. Um, and then Point defense is fine. Um, electric counter countermeasures is fine. Shield, I would put uh, at least one. We only got three shield cell banks. Put uh, one 
heat sink monitor into it. Um, we can engineer for some, make it so it gets more out of that. So you can engineer your um, electric countermeasures and your point defense, you want to engineer those. Um, and you could either put another uh, shield booster onto it. I don't know if power wise you can do that. Um, so if it's not a shield thing, then yeah, you probably put a shield booster onto those two there. Uh, but you definitely need a heat sink launch on it. Everything else is pretty good. Power plant's good, your thrusters are good, your frame shift drive's good. Um, Weapon-wise, it's up to you how you want to set it up. What ship is that? Exactly. Um, just don't want to go. You can take all your settings. You want to play around with settings as well. Um, and you got to make. You don't put them all onto one. You put them onto. You put like your fuel skip onto five. You put your scanners onto four, four or five, stuff like that. You put your countermeasures onto say three. Weapons always go onto two, and your thrusters, your thrusters, and everything else. Life support you can put onto four. Um, as soon as your life support goes off, you go, oh god, I need to get the hell out of Dodge. You know you're getting your ass handed to you. <laughs> um, that's an eagle. Ah. It's a fast little ship anyway. It's not a bad little setup for an eagle. Yep, that's perfect. Uh, you can A grade them and then you uh, go to the engineers and engineer the crap out of everything. And the easiest way to do that with a type of ship like that, you just fly and you get yourself a ship that's got a decent jump range. Or make yourself a space taxi. Work out where you can jump near the what's her name and I'm gonna get rid of the blemish. Go into this one now. been a while since I've seen civilization. I'm flowing now. But I'm again the while since I've been just been right on. I always do. Oops. Let's request docking. Let the docking computer take it. You'd know the pips then where you want to put your pips. I keep the pips in the thrust, the shield, the shield generator can go to um, three. These help you, the shield cell bank can go to actually put them with a four. Because if they're gonna if you're I think, yeah, three or four, three should be enough. Uh, life support you definitely put that on the four, so if that goes then you know you're in trouble. Uh, your yeah, hatch can can't go ahead to put that onto five and turn it off. You don't need it. Um, frame shift driving one on one. You want the power plant at one. Fuel scoop can go to say four or five. five. You can even turn that off if you want. The rest can go to let's put the electric countermeasures and point defense um, onto two sensors. You can probably keep one to three. That's your power. That's your power taken care of, you know what I mean? Um, anything else like the other measures you put onto those, the weapons you put onto, armor, the one that's just 
quickly the same setup as your take the same thing I've just put I just modified certain things in it that you want to modify in your ship that will give you better power to power control and stuff like that so you, you see how everything's now turned on stuff like that and you've got to put weapons onto there remember as well I don't know what weapons you're running so all depends on that too now let's just get uh, some fuel what time we got 4 30 let's go into shipyard come on stored ships come on I want that one the lanes chieftain click mark two my python and my other python now oh, I've got one python is that's the mining python which I've got to rework again I haven't done engineer on it and that's my normal python which is just trading python my federal call that imperial cutter there we go my imperial cutter is more of a trader slash I could set up as a miner now Go back to that. Options. Maybe we that ship. Don't want to sell the other one. It's a just engineer. Remember to put all the pips in the right places too. That's your key. You're using too much power. That's where your problem lies. Um, okay, so so first load to first load to two. System, all the cannon to get it to slaves to one, one fuel skip to get it five, wave it off, sensors to get it to three. Okay, here's your here's where you should put your pips. Um, this is how I always prefer to set them up um, when I do it. Now the reason why, if you have a look at now your firing rate. You can pretty much have everything out and firing if you're, um, and it's not using up all that power. Now the reason why I put certain things onto four and five, like the cargo hatch, you don't need any power going to that full stop, so that can be switched off um, and save you a little bit of power. The thrusters that you want them onto one, the shield generator and shield boosters, you don't really care about those too much, uh, and the shield sub bank because if you if anything if anything starts hitting the fall which is your shield cell which is your life support you know you've got to get out of dodge so now this is my angry owl I call it my angry owl um, what am I looking for did my okay now I'm trying to remember everything in here um, contacts um, groups modules fire groups that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, no, um, no. Oh yeah, I've got to go into services. Uh, no, not that sell one. No, 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 get out of there. I'm not selling this stuff. I'm going to have to shoot off soon anyway, but we'll get to Walls of Jonah in a minute. Uh, or go th or start or plot the course anyway to get to there, then we'll go there. The reason why you want to use the um, pip control is because that way there you can, that's fine, just in there. 
Anybody else that might be a reason they don't change? No, not like it. Uh, Now my jump range is terrible. Where's Joe I can hide him right to? Maybe here. That's the wall one. Can we sell what's that symbol? We're gonna run out of fuel. What? How many jumps are they gonna take me? Nice oh, seven jumps and it's my jump range on this ship is terrible. Oh my right. It's only two and a half the jump range. <laughs> but while we're here, do I have any cargo racks? Hmm. Oh my god, do they have the tiers of what's that? The rare commodity. Yes, they do. That's going to affect the jump range a bit, but eh. Uh, The reason why you want to put the pips into those is because you want to balance your ship out. So if certain things like you don't need life support, so that well you do need life support, but if you're pretty much fighting it in a system that has a base, it gives you about as soon as that gets attacked, it gives you seven minutes to get out of dodge. Right? If you get that much damage and you realize that you're you're pretty much gonna be screwed then, then you know you're screwed. I always have heat sink launches, uh, point defense. I've, you can see mine, like it's one to three, so technically that's one to four. I've been in this ship in a long time. Flight assist off. Eee. Flight assist off. And um, this has pretty much been engineered. Old school engineering, not new school engineering. Um, which is kind of weird because I haven't changed. I haven't bothered because it took me ages to set this up and I'm quite happy with all the roles. And it does well and still kicks ass in pretty much everything it does. Then we've got seven jumps. We might even get that done and dusted on it. Scanner got to. We haven't got organized or picked. Ah. We've got the flight. Uh, 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 discovery scanner. Like that's one. And detail service. Uh, like that's two. I didn't think about that, did I? I don't only use this one well for war. But since we go and jump and model scan at the same time. God, I'm gonna run out of fuel, ain't I? I'm gonna have to fill up right away. See, everybody does their own different, but I prefer to go, well, if my, my life support's going, that means I'm in trouble. It's simple. <laughs> it means I should have ran away two minutes ago. <laughs> That's how I look at it. 
No. So if you get overconfident um, and you feel like you're going oh, okay, a little bit too, pushing it a bit too hard, then you can, you know, I'm definitely going to get that. Um, we'll just get to the, we'll get to the walls of Joe and I. It's a nice bet, it's not a bad setup. I like that. But with a ship like that, you probably want to get somebody else with you who has healing beams. My body, let's have a quick look. Nah, no, no. In engineering, then yeah. In engineer I think you can get on a little ship, but the best way to do it is make yourself a space taxi. Nice trip down. Lots and lots of suns in this area. Uh, is he trying to get behind me? No, he's a fucking bear. Yeah? Um, soon. I'll be down in a minute. Don't think we're going to need it. It's supposed to rain tomorrow. And then mum wants me to water the garden. Okay, so looks like I'm going to go down to there and do stuff. I'll be back in a, I'll be back later uh, to figure out where I can sell all my stuff. I think it's those Christmas lights though. I think they're annoying me, and they're now running out of fuel. I forgot how the difference is. Like when you got a decent fuel, with decent ship that has a fuel, massive fuel skip on. You've got another one where you just got to dance around the system. Done the three more jumps, but don't want to run out of fuel. See, this is more combat or multi purpose related. I call it more multi-purpose over combat because I designed it. I try to get a ship if I can get a ship and try to get it more multi-purpose. Design it for multi-purpose. I can do trade runs. I can do um, passenger run to cargo. Pretty much a mixed ship, and that's what I designed this one for. And I had the engineer done and all that. Then the new engineers came out. And I go. <sighs> I have to re-engineer. I engineered every other ship I had, even the Anaconda engineered it. And that actually why the reason why I kept the Anaconda, I got the Anaconda back again because the jump range I could do the Anaconda over everything else. Oh, that's why I engineered it. Now, we're going to park ourselves at the walls of Joe and I, and then we'll figure out what we're going to do later tonight, if not tomorrow night. Um, when we get a chance to come back on again. I got two jumps. And then we go to war. I want to sell my data before I go to war because if I don't sell my data, I gotta get I don't want to get blown up. Definitely gotta get rid of the Christmas lights, it's just 
doesn't really work. So we haven't got the buggies on this thing because I want to take the buggies out sometimes on the planets. We made it before five o'clock, which is good. I'm gonna repair tea as well, so ah, I'll be back as soon as we get to where we want to get to. You can see what I mean by the difference. It's like this ship does look a lot better. Uh, it's a lot more range. Don't see those wires. You see that beautiful, slick military design. I like how you sort of sit in the center. I would like to see, though, the pilot you get sit in one of the chairs. That would be good because I only time you see him is like here. Where is that one? Are they there? Is she on board? She should be on board. I'll double check. The reason why I grab those is because I flogged them off. It's not much, but it's still worth it. The further you go away from Shimrata, the more expensive they become. The holy water. It's, as is before, it's not much, but if you come across a rare item, you grab them. Some systems go, oh, that's an illegal rare item, those things. Um, and they'll try to find you for it, and you go, no, you don't want to go there. You can sell them for quite a lot of money. A lot of credits, I should say. It's not money, it's credits. I miss this place. We're back home. We're home. We'll land this and then we'll call it a night and we'll be back when we get back home. All depends on what we're happening tonight. I mean, let's, I might get on tonight. If not, I'll get on to tomorrow night when I get a chance to. And to make sure we'll sell the data and go to war. Well, if we can't sell the data, then we'll just go to war. Just be extra safe. Yeah, that's it. It's quite warm at the moment too. I'm lazy. 
Oh, thank you for the follow too. Um, age. Is that night two two? Age night two two. Twenty two. <laughs> thank you very much for the follow. Anyway, I'm gonna have to shoot off here and I'll call it night. Um and we're going to sell our data somewhere and the way we're going to sell it all and all that. But say to you, thank you for watching. My name is King Emma Commander Black Star Lord Triple Air Electric Service signing off. Thank you again for watching my videos and all comments are welcome. You all have a great day now.